Hannah well, Collin, just since the Trump administration took over, the Mexican consulate just inside this building says that it has gone from seeing about 200 Mexican nationals a day to 400. Many of those people worried about what the president's immigration plan means for them. And that's really the reason why Mexico has decided to open up these centers of defenses today. As the reality of a border wall draws closer and President Donald Trump continues his tough talk on plans for expedited deportation of undocumented immigrants, Mexico has now put in place a program to help its people here. We are letting them know all the rights. We are making immigration screenings so that in case by case we can let them know what could happen with them. All 50 Mexican consulates across the country, including this one in Philadelphia, have now opened up centers for defense, providing legal advice and guidance to worried Mexican nationals, people like this woman who did not want us to use her name and spoke through a translator. The Mexican uh, people is really scared. It's kind of uh, anxious. She has a good life here in Philadelphia with three kids. She works as a cook and her husband does construction. President Trump's immigration plan has her worried that she could lose it all. Sometimes we're so scared that we don't want to go out to, to work. We don't want to go out shopping and we're scared for the family. So she came to this consulate center of defense to calm her fears and to better understand her rights. I think this is a, of great support from the Mexican government and I hope like so many people can benefit out of that. Yeah, consulate officials say that these centers of defenses will also document any potential human rights violations that could happen under the Trump administration's in immigration enforcement against Mexican nationals. Now, that would be to, quote, potentially act in a legal collective way in the future. In Old City, Alicia Nieves, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you.